Hey guys, welcome to another Aqua's Adventure. Today we are going to be working on a giant ice rink. So yeah, today is going to be a lot of fun. I worked on a couple things in between this episode, so I'll show you guys that. And yeah, let's get started. So real quickly, as always, you guys know I do a lot of work in between episodes. So let's take a look at one of those. Uh, if you guys look up there, before this episode, that was one mob farm. I don't know if you guys can kind of visualize it, but one mob farm is kind of like one little square of that, right? And they have, obviously, the two coming down in the collection. But I built three more. So now there's one, two, three, four, and all of them gather up. We'll go take a look at it in a second. I did some cleaning up around the world, and I started prep for the ice rink, which is going to go right here. And if you guys don't remember, there was... Kind of take a look at that hill right over there. That hill was over here. There was trees. It was just like a giant hill on stream. We cleared all of it. It took a good couple hours, but yeah, this entire thing got cleared. I'm not, I don't have any footage of it. I could show you guys my, the stream, but just take my word for it. This entire thing was packed with like hills and dense forest, and we cut it over. We cut it off over a couple hours. So yeah, you talked about the ice ring prep. I did go on, on another Elytra run, and I did manage to get a couple more Elytra to keep us stocked. Of course, I got some blocks. And, of course, I got some more Dragon Heads. So now we got seven, which is pretty cool. Expanded the mob farm. Uh, so the whole big reason why I wanted to expand the mob farm is because I needed bone to grow wheat to breed the animals so I could get levels to fix my tools. So... That's kind of how it started. I needed to fix my tools, but I needed more animals, but I needed more wheat, so I needed more bone. So I expanded the mob farm. And quickly, let's kind of take a look around. Right now, my FPS might drop here, because there are a lot of animals in here. Probably my FPS. Okay, it's still at a solid 30. But real quickly, so yeah, this entire mob farm is completely different now. Before, it like went up from here, so all that's completely moved. And one of the other signs that I did was I adjusted the roller coaster, of course, because the roller coaster went through here, so I just kind of readjusted a little bit, but it works essentially the same way. But yeah, let's go up there, and I can show you guys kind of what is up with it. So now the ladder's over here, and you know, we have Elytra on, so we're just going to fly up there, but yeah, the entrance to it is a little bit different. So let's go ahead and fly up there. It's like this, so... Bam, perfect landing. The ladder just takes us right here. So now, instead of having one storage system right here, and it was kind of junky, now all four of these funnel in with hoppers to this one place. So these are the collection. So here's where it goes first. And then once it goes filled there, it goes up until here and then here. So these are all collection chests. And by the way, I did go AFK for maybe two or three days. Not at one time, but over the long and I did manage to get by the way I'm just gonna say all of these are filled with sulfur or gunpowder um, most of these are filled with bone all of these are filled with arrows all of these are filled with rotten flesh uh, some of these have some armor in it and then yeah so we did gather a lot of course we got some redstone some glowstone which I desperately need some sugar you know some other stuff that you get but yeah this is kind of the new design I'll walk around a little bit probably shouldn't fly yeah, so this is the new, like, collection storage area, and the place where I actually go AFK is up here. So, yeah, I'm, like, in the middle of all four mob farms, and this is exactly where I stand, and I could actually watch all four of them, mobs coming out, in case something's broken, I could actually watch it. So this is a really, really nice setup, and, of course, like I said, each of them, because the mobs drop here, they go into these hoppers, and then these two go on this side, and those two go on this side, and it all fills up all nicely. But I think this is really cool. I worked a couple hours on this. Because I remember one episode is completely dedicated to building one of these. I built three off camera. And anyway, I think they look really cool. So we'll take one more look at it from a different point of view. We'll go on top of this building here. So yeah, it got a lot bigger. It's practically quadruple in size and the project we're going to be mainly working on today is of course the ice rink and that is going to be right over here and that's a pretty big project also but guys yeah just imagine this entire thing was this just dense forest and also there was a ravine going through about here is kind of where my cursor is and that's completely all filled in I filled it all in 
So yeah, this is really cool. I'm excited to start working on it. And that's pretty much everything I did in between episodes because this was a lot of work. That was a lot of work. And most of this was done on stream, by the way. So it's another little plug for my Twitch stream. And actually, right after I record this episode, I am going to go streaming. Uh, not when the video goes out because this video is going to go out much later. But just as kind of something cool. I am actually going to be streaming right after this episode. But yeah, I think that is everything out of the way, and now we can start on the ice rink. Okay, so first things first, the ice rink is, what is an ice rink without some ice? So, how much ice do we have? Okay, not a good amount. So, here's what we're going to do. For the first part of this project, we're going to fill it in with ice. And I probably don't have enough, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place all of this, and then I'm gonna actually going to head over to the ice spike biome and get some more. But yeah, I'll kind of give you guys the plan for this thing right here. So obviously, I don't know if you guys know what an ice rink is kind of shaped like, but it's kind of like an oval. And then what I'm planning is obviously fill all this in with ice. And then up here is going to be kind of like a bowl. So it's going to be bleachers and stuff like that. So yeah, um, I kind of wanted to build it like a stadium type thing. But honestly, I might build a stadium as a different project. So I think this one's going to rely kind of more on like an outdoor kind of thing. That might be a little bit weird, but yeah, I didn't take these. <laughs> these <laughs> these off all right so yeah I'm gonna get started and start placing some of this ice and by the way I am using packed ice because normal ice does melt when it gets near light and the packed ice doesn't so that's why I'm using this all right guys so I ended up filling in the entire thing with packed ice and I put glowstone because mobs can spawn on top of packed ice so that's pretty good now we're gonna actually start on kind of like the bowl shape of it and I'm not going to go very, very detailed. For now, what I'm literally going to do is build a bowl around it with stone brick. And then from there, I'll shape it into seats and stuff like that. But yeah, for now, I'm literally just going to grab stone brick and I'm going to make my way there. So yeah, like I said, we're probably going to build like kind of like a locker room entrance place probably on this side over here. But for now, I'm literally just going to build a little bowl around it. I forgot my pick. I should probably get that, but I'll fix that in a second. So what I'm going to do is, yeah, just kind of build around it. And then, on, of course, on the second level, yeah, I should probably space that in between. But I'm just kind of doing a little a little kind of idea of what's going to go on here. So, yeah, it's just going to be kind of like one block after another going higher and higher and higher. And I'm going to probably make this... A good couple blocks. Like I don't know how many, but a good couple. And I'm just going to keep doing that all the way around. So yeah, this video is not going to show me doing a lot of the work. Today is going to be a lot of grinding. But I think that's fine. I don't want to bore you guys out. And I'm just going to like put on some YouTube videos while I do this. And it'll be a lot of fun. Okay, everybody. So the walls are all done for now. I might make them even higher. But this is, I just kind of put them to a set height just for now. So we can kind of see what's going on. But yeah, all the walls are raised up. Right now, I think eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, seven, eight, this, whatever. <laughs> My math is amazing. But yeah, and then the last thing I did was cut out doorways. So the stadium is, or this is going to be a nice rink. They usually have four entrances, usually on each corner or right in the middle. So for this one, I decided that I wanted each one in the middle. So this one is... They're a little bit spacier. This one has like one block in the middle and then two on each side. And then these ones, uh, they are exactly four. So these ones are a little bit smaller. These ones are a little bit bigger, but that's fine. I think this one's going to be the main entrance. So I might make this one even a little bit bigger. Uh, but yeah, somehow we'll make these look like bleachers. And with each entrance, I think what I want to do... How do I want to do this? Well, let's take it like maybe one block out for now. So let's take it a couple blocks out and see what an entrance would probably look like. So I think in this case, if you like bring it down like this, kind of cover it up just like that. And I just, I'm going to cover this up just because it annoys me. And then we bring, I think we can maybe bring it one more down. I, hmm. Or should we just take it like this? Just like that. How would we bring it in? Maybe we could bring it out one more. Kind of like that. I think that looks like an okay entrance. 
All right, so we got a little bit more work done. I made the entrances all a little bit more clear, and I added some kind of uh, like iron bars around to make it kind of look like a fence going around it, so no one can like jump down and stuff. But yeah, so that's kind of the entrances. Now, of course, you guys got to remember this build is going to be in progress probably for quite a while. So anything that I do, it's not final, and this is going to grow bigger and bigger as we go. And my main plan is to actually have like a building here connected to this. And this will be like the main place, you could say. And then I'll, it'll be like pretty thick here. It'll be like an actual big building. Then it will we'll go around the sides, but it might be a little bit thinner around the sides. Like the building might be itself just like kind of whatever it is under over here. So I might have to expand this one more time. And then of course, I don't know. I might have to add stairs into the bleachers. I don't think that'll be that hard. I might have to do that. And I might also have to add lights up there. Okay, guys. So I have done a lot of work. I added another layer. And then I added uh, some stone slabs all the way around. I ended up adding, not stairs, everywhere. Because I thought that would be a little too much. And I tried stone and it didn't work. So I tried out a lot of types of wood. And spruce ended up looking the best in my opinion. So what I did is I added two sets of stairs on either side of every single door. So two there, two there, two there, and two there. So yeah, and I think it looks pretty good. Now the only thing that I need to do is actually light up this place. Which I will do after I do the building. Because I kind of want to light up everything at once. So what my plan is going to be around all three sides so just ignore this side for a moment the other three sides I'm gonna build the building right about here so along the sides I'm just gonna go with actually where it ends so we'll have like maybe a three block big hallway that you could walk around through here get to the three entrances and just here partly because I have the most room is gonna kinda be a main hallway so here is gonna be one big main entrance there's gonna be a big hall we'll be able to do and put stuff on this big hallway and you can kinda walk around the small hallways to get around the other entrances so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and start building and I'll see you guys in a little bit alright everybody so I kind of got it planned out so on this side, like I said before, from here it's just going to be pulled out to the corners. So there's going to be kind of one big corridor hallway thingy. And then around the sides, I'm just going to actually follow the stadium itself. So it's going to be kind of like a little small, small, small corridor. And it's just going to keep going around following with the stadium itself or ice rink. And then, like I said, it's going to come over here. And I actually had to cut out a path through here. But I'm just going to leave it how it is because this is going to become a wall anyway. But yeah, it just kind of cuts out through here. And I did have to do some mining. And there are some invisible blocks there that I'll have to get rid of. But yeah, then we go around. Keep going around the stadium. And this is kind of just like an outline of how it's going to go. And then we come back around. We do the full all the way over here to the corner to meet back up. Over here. So now what I'm going to have to do is fill in the floor with bricks and then the walls with bricks. And then we'll make the entranceway all fancy and we'll make this entranceway all fancy. And we'll add stuff here, banners, all sorts of decorations. But for now, I'm just going to have to work on building the walls. But I'm not going to do that right now <clears throat> because I, that's probably going to be the biggest job yet is creating all the walls and making the entranceway. So I'm going to do that for in between episodes and for next episode so yeah let's let's do one more thing this episode so here's what we're gonna do for the rest of the episode we're gonna have a little enchanting session so like I said I've been breeding a lot of animals to get levels and then to fix my tools so I'm gonna try to breed them get a couple levels going and then we're gonna have like a little enchanting spree going and we're gonna fix everything up and get some levels it's gonna be great and I'll show you guys what I've gotten so far. So this is probably like a couple runs in here. I've gotten about this much hay. And you got to remember, each of these holds about nine stacks of hay. So, yeah, that is a pretty good amount. And I've used maybe a couple double chests full of bones so far. The machine does use them quickly, but that's exactly why I quadrupled that. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep reading them. And I actually am having some FPS trouble because of these. But I'm going to try to get a lot of levels going, and then we'll have a little enchanting session. Okay, so I just did a little bit of breeding, got myself to level 48. Let's just kind of stick everything in here. And let's go ahead down to the basement and do some enchanting. See if we can get any good 
tools. Hopefully we do get a couple. Now, what do I need? I don't need anything. Yeah, because I have a full... I know I probably don't go down here a lot uh, in these episodes, but over here used to be like a potion farm, but in the up, one of the updates broke it, so we're going to have to rebuild that soon. And then, of course, I got like my costume room, which you guys can still leave suggestions on. Got a little like industrial furnace room, and here is like holding all our books and stuff. I don't have much in here at the moment, though. But here is our crafting station. So this gives us everything that we need. We click that button, gives us three lapis, and then we got tools in every single one of these. So I think first we should try out a pick. So let's let's pick up pick that up. Efficiency three. Oh, that's gross. How about we not do that? How about we pick up an axe? What can we get out of an axe? Efficiency three. That's kind of gross. What can we get out of a shovel? Yeah, I don't know why the button's not working. What can we get? Efficiency. Is all these efficient? All right, let's try to get a get a sword going. Let's get a sword going. Fire aspect two. That could be a nice sword. All right, you know what? Let's try it. Okay, that's a really bad sword. Like really, really bad. Let's hit this button maybe twice. There we go. Let's see what we can get. Silk touch. I'll take another silk touch. You know, not not horrendous. I'll take another. Ooh, perfect. That is a beautiful. That is a beautiful shovel. I will take that. You know, we're doing three more enchantments. Probably missing some lapis. There we go. Let's see what we can get on maybe an unbreaking three. Perfect. I, I love those types of axes. Good. Let's see what we can get on the next one. Silk touch. I'll take another silk touch. All right. Uh, kind of a bad efficiency, but that's fine. You know, what? let's get let's get one more shovel. Why doesn't this button work? I have no idea. Well, we'll just pick it up then. And then fortune. Ooh, I don't want a fortune. Let's see what we can get out of a sword. Bane of arthropods. No, I don't want that either. Uh, what can we do with a book? What can we do with a book? Sharpness three. Nope, I don't want a book either. Let's try a bow. Do we have a bow in here? We don't have a bow. I wonder, is the axe going to be any different? Fortune. Hmm. Maybe a fishing rod. I don't. I usually don't like doing fishing rods. Lure two. All right, let's do it. Oh, that's not that bad. Okay, so we did a couple of enchants here and there. Actually, I think we can do one more. Yeah, because we still have 30 levels. Let's do one more then. Let's see what we can get. Fortune 3. Fortune 3. Banner of Arthropods. Wait, a Fortune... Th Wait, is there, is there not even Fortune 3? Fortune 3. Yep, I'll take a Fortune 3 pick. Yeah, so overall, these weren't that good, actually. Um, we got a couple of good ones. We got some, like, decent working, like, just grinding axes and shovels, and I think a pick. So it's not that bad. Let's go ahead and put them in their chests. So we got a couple of new tools to work with, which isn't terrible. That's my main pick, actually. So we got a couple. Not terrible, not terrible. And, of course, I'll be doing this anytime I get levels. And then we got a fishing rod. All right, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so guys, hopefully you guys had a lot of fun watching. I think we did a really good job on our rink. We did a lot of work, and I'll just walk there as I do my goodbyes. So guys, yeah, I had a lot of fun today. Hopefully you guys had a lot of fun watching. And I promise this rink is going to be great next episode. So guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like and comment as it supports my channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless. And goodbye.